they can't stop looking at social media. Their brains have changed. They become addicted. And there's something very dangerous about that. The number one problem, the number one psychiatric disorder among teenagers is anxiety. Typically it's anxiety about needing to check in with social media. There was another study that looked at fear of missing out and it looked at kids who have high anxiety around missing out. Even though social media makes them more anxious, makes them more worried about missing out, they can't stop looking at it. That prefrontal cortex hasn't developed enough to be able, for them to be able to put it down, to say to themselves, it's not making me feel good. The prefrontal cortex, this area of the brain that is involved in our cognitive control, our ability to process and direct our attention based on our goals, is the last part of our brain to develop. This doesn't get completely myelinated until you're in your mid to late 20s. So kids are getting these tools right when they have the least capability of actually um, controlling their behavior. I think we can confidently say that it's changing the way that teens interact with, the, with each other, um, with peers, with the world, mm -hmm. and that those changes in interactions lead to sort of changes in behaviors, changes in psychiatric and sort of mental health. We should not be surprised and it's not just because the culture changed, it's because their brains have changed. They also get trained in instant gratification by these devices. And there's something very dangerous about that because in real life, we don't get everything that we want instantly. They are bombarding our, our teenagers and our young adults with so much that they become addicted to the continuous input of stimulus and information. We know that there are many activities that are critical for our development. Face-to-face -face communication, physical activities, um, exposure to nature, and sleep. I would say that all of these are being threatened in some way by increasing uh, access to information technology. I think parents are in a really tough situation right now. I think because this tech has negative effects, they have to balance between trying to protect their kids, but also, let's face it, there's tremendous social pressure to use technology. And it's also incredibly important that children are technically literate. And I think there need to be more resources that help them make those decisions. And frankly, the, you know, the companies need to be partially responsible, largely responsible, for ensuring that the use of these products is responsible.